Good morning, uh, YouTube. This is Inspector Gadget on a new tech review and also news on the new uh, ice cream sandwich from Google. First, let's start with the news. All right, Google coming out with the new sandwich, uh, ice cream sandwich. And so far, as you can see, there are some new options that comes with the ice cream sandwich. I don't know if you uh, are familiar with uh, like the tablets that are out today with the Google Android application. Well, most of the applications look just like that on your on the ice cream sandwich program. You will also on some of your widgets. You can also on the phone resize them. Uh, the only thing that is very neat that the tablets don't have that the new Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0 will have is that anytime that you have a program that's open and you can scroll down, you know, your fast, you know, jump to next screen, whatever, multitasking, you can swipe left or right to get rid of it to close it out. Now that is nice. I like that. Another thing with the um, Ice Cream Sandwich is that they also have a revamped Gmail. Um, calendar has also been revamped Re and your calendar you know most of the times when you check your schedule for the day it only shows like just a little small box well with calendar what they input it was to pinch to zoom so now you could pinch it and spread it open to make sh to look at what your schedule is like so you can see the time you can see everything instead of just tapping on the icon or the date and open it up it's a whole lot better um, some of the stuff that works real good with the phone now because everything you know with Android base works off of Google. Well, now they got bigger pictures now. You could take a magazine Photoshop of your friends or your whereabouts where you was at and put in your contacts and it looks just like it was off a magazine. Um, with the Nexus, I know they have revamped some of the cameras. Uh, functions on the next. I don't know about if the ice cream sandwich program is going to have that on the other phones. Um, as you know, I got a Thunderbolt. I would like to see it because I'm hoping that the new ice cream sandwich is going to make my phone work a lot better because it looks good, extremely good. Another feature I like is like you know how everybody locks up their phone and you got the tic tac toe pattern to op unlock your phone. Well, with the ice cream sandwich, it has face recognition. So now, instead of doing the tic-tac-toe pattern, all you gotta do is look inside your camera, and if your face if your face is recognized, it'll unlock. Anyone else to get your phone and try it, it won't work. <clears throat> that is a plus. Now, on that bombshell, let's talk about the new um, tech review that I have purchased yesterday at the last spare moment. A lot of you are like myself, you're in your car most of the times, and you like to have your phone sitting somewhere where you can get real good access to, okay? I'm talking about a car mount. I bought one from Verizon Wireless for $20, okay? And it is this car mount right here, okay? And with this car mount, what it does, it just suctions to your uh, windshield. Now, pros and cons. The pros it is a good unit it's universal and it does work now on this unit it has as you can see this long mount here and on the bottom here it has two clamps right here okay it supports your phone from the bottom now uh, it has spring clamps that you squeeze in to squeeze your phone tight so it won't move and you hit a button in the back and it springs open now here's my problem say for example you're in your car you're driving and say you stop at the stoplight and you want to take your phone out to look at something versus reaching over why would you do it I don't understand but just say you're stopped and you're parked and you want to grab your phone you hit the button in the back guess what's gonna happen your phone's gonna fall forward okay now that's the only thing I don't like because of that reason uh, it does swivel swivel to the side so you can use that as a GPS but once again you also gotta look at it too if you don't have uh, a area on your phone that's access to be plugged in for your charger it's gonna be a pain um, I tried this with mines I don't really care too much about the spring cord all the time but I guess it's something we all have to deal with uh, as far as your uh, lighter charger um, once again it's a good unit I'm not knocking it I'm gonna try the one that's designed for my phone the only problem with that one is is that with the HTC Thunderbolts for anybody got a Thunderbolt if you had extended battery, the one that HTC designed for your our phone, it will not work for an extended battery. So that means that we had to go back to using a smaller battery. Now, 
the plus side of this is is say for example um, you charge up your phone okay you're in your car you need to charge your phone your battery will last longer because you're charging it so you don't have to worry about using extended battery now if you're not going to be in your car then yeah I will use extended battery for the rest of the day um, so I'm going to end up taking this one back but for anybody that needs one these are $19 if you work for a corporation you get your corporate discount on it it could be anywhere less than like $15 say between 18 to 15 to 18 dollars um, but once again uh, this is a very good unit try it out if you like it leave some comments okay also leave me some comments about the uh, Google information and stuff because like I say I'm starting to see a lot now where Apple Google Windows they're all trying to do their thing like hey mine's is better than yours some similarities there's like I'm like, like they're copying off of one of each other but they're doing it better okay so once again this is uh, Inspector Gadget with a tech review today uh, you have a good one S stay warm peace